Advanced Itinerary Builder is an extension for the WP Travel Engine plugin to add informative and descriptive details per day in the itinerary section of a particular trip. You can showcase your trip's details in a much more interactive approach. In this video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step installation process and setup guide of the Advanced Itinerary Builder add-on plugin. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now, navigate to Plugins, then click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File. Select the zip file, click on open, click on install now, then click on activate plugin. The WP Travel Engine Advanced Itinerary Builder add-on has now been successfully installed and activated. Next up, you need to navigate to WP Travel Engine, then Go to Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Then click on Save Changes. Click on Activate License. Your license key for Advanced Itinerary Builder add-on is activated on this side. By activating the add-on license, you can receive regular updates from our team. Now, to access the global settings for Advanced Itinerary Builder, from under WP Travel Engine, you have to go to Settings, go to Extensions, then go to Advanced Itinerary Builder. Here, you will find a bunch of global settings for this add-on. We will come back to these settings in a while. First. Let's go to one of our trips. Go to Trips and click on All Trips. Let's select one of the trip. I will select the first one. I will also open the trip in the New tab to our front end so that we will be able to see the differences in the end. Back to our dashboard and let's open the first trip. Now let's go to Itinerary tab. Advanced Itinerary Builder add-on when enabled will display additional fields as well as the earlier set details. You can simply add the additional fields value and save them. This will display in the additional information in the front as well. The plugin will not remove the previous set values your title and description for the itinerary detail will be displayed as per usual even if the Advanced Itinerary Builder add-on is deactivated or deleted. Let's explore all of the additional fields. First, you can add the duration of the traveling on a particular day. You can add the duration in hours or minutes. Let's add the duration as 5 here is the description that we had already added. Now you can click here. Then you can add more information. You also have a bunch of other options that you can explore from. Then you can also add in the image with the help of Add Media option. Simply click on Add Media button. Then you can select the image of your choice. Click on Insert into Post, which will display the image for the description of D1 itinerary. Next, you can also add in the sleep mode. Sleep mode is the field that allows you to define and add information regarding how travelers will spend the night. This could be either tent stay, lodge stay, home stay, hotel stay, etc. For now, if you click on please select sleep mode, you will not be able to select any sleep mode because we have not created any. In order to add sleep mode, you have to go back to the global settings. So for now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save the changes that we have made. 
then let's go back let's go to wp travel engine then go to settings go to extensions then go to advanced itinerary builder from here we will be able to add the sleep mode fields for itinerary click on add field then you can add in the sleep mode to add more you have to click on add field then you can keep on adding more sleep modes if you wish to delete any of the sleep modes then you can click on the delete icons here now click on save and continue to save the changes we will go back to trips and click on all trips let's open the first trip this is the trip that we were working on click on edit scroll down and let's go to itinerary tab once again now if you click on please select sleep mode you will be able to select one of the sleep modes from here let's select hotel stay for this one then if you want to add more additional information about the sleep mode you can do that from here click here then you can add in the content you can also add images like how you have added for the d1 itinerary description by clicking on add media simply click on add media then you can select the image for your sleep content mode for now i'm not going to add any images so let it be how it is right now next you can add images for the d1 itinerary from here click on add image then you can select images of your choice click on add image which will then add the images at any time if you wish to delete the images then you can click on the delete buttons next you can also select the meals included the setting allows you to add what kind of meals will be provided to travelers if you click on tick all then all the three meals will be selected next you can add in the location information the setting allows you to add the location information and its altitude which later will be shown in the elevation chart so let's add in the location here and add in the altitude there are more itineraries below following the same process i will make changes to all the itineraries i am done making the changes for all of the itineraries now click on update let's go back to the trip this is the same trip that we have just edited from here now we will give it a refresh go to the itinerary tab and this is what your itinerary now looks like after making all of the changes from the additional fields that come with advanced itinerary builder you can see the sleep mode if you click on this i icon you will be able to see the description or the content that was added in the sleep mode description you can see the meals information here as well as the images that were added in the gallery Now we will configure the global settings of the advanced itinerary builder add-on. Let's go back to our dashboard. Back. Go to WP Travel Engine, then click on Settings. Go to Extensions, then go to Advanced Itinerary Builder. The first option is to always show all itineraries. You can enable or disable the toggle as per your requirement. 
Next is the sleep mode fields for itinerary. I have already explained the section, so I will not go into this. Next is itinerary elevation chart settings. The first option is to show the chart on trip page. Let's enable it. Click on save and continue. Let's go back. Give it a refresh. Go to itinerary tab and here is the elevation chart. If you remember, earlier we had added the location information. We had added the location name as well as the altitude for the location. The elevation chart shown here is as per the location and the altitude added for each day location in the itinerary. Let's go back. Now, you can select the elevation input unit. By default, it is meter. You can select foot. I'm going to let it be meter. Then you can also enable to show the x-axis. You can also enable to show the y-axis. You can also enable to show the line graph. Then, if you wish to change the theme color, you can click here and change the theme color. I'm going to let it be as blue because this goes well with the theme that I have selected for my travel booking website. Now, if you wish to show the chart background image for the elevation chart, you can do that from here. Click on choose image, then select the image of your choice. Click on save and continue. Let's go to the front end and see the changes that we have made. So this is how it looks like. That was it about the advanced itinerary builder. If you have any questions, confusions, if you did not understand anything, if you did not understand any concept that I explained in this video, please do let me know in the comment section below. Or even better, you can directly reach out to our support team. I have added the link to creating support ticket in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in our next video.